Today is Choose English Day. From 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., join your equipped and efficient elementary English tutors as they bring fun and exciting learning in the world of English. Let us help make your educational journey in English easier and simpler. Every Tuesday, 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. Only here at Itulai official Facebook page and YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tuesday is Choose English Day. From 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., join your equipped and efficient elementary English tutors as they bring fun and exciting learning in the world of English. Let us help make your educational journey in English easier and simpler. Every Tuesday, 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. Only here at Kitulai official Facebook page and YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulai, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer together, online volunteer tutors. Online. Tarana! Tarana! Good afternoon, good afternoon, learners of the Philippines, and good afternoon, Tutor Ned. It's been a while. We really miss you a lot. Yes, good afternoon, Tutor Jess. Welcome back to another online tutorial in English 6. Would you like to greet? Yes, yes. Mama, Tutor Jess. Yes, yes, and thank you so much, Tutor Ned. And since today is our I mean, today is what we call Choose English Day because it's a Tuesday. I'd like to greet first our very consistent and our really amazing learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And I'm going to start with Joseph Conrad Bulaklak, our early bird this afternoon. Also, Cassandra Bravo from uh, who's trying? Gamo Central School that is from... Mahoga, grade 6 Mahogany, and also Aliana Bravo. Oh, feeling ko magkapatid ito si Aliana Bravo and si Cassandria Bravo. We also have Angelique Marisa Lazar, Roxeline Adderolf, good afternoon. And we also have Eliza Jane Atriginio watching from Malasin Elementary School, SBO City of Ilagan. So, Ternet, can you help me? Because it's a really, really yes. long Yes, from Eliza Jane Atrigino, Barredo Ajali, of course, from San Lorenzo Ruiz. From Tutor Friends, hello, good afternoon. Angelique Marie Salazar from Marinao Central Integrated School, Bulacan. And then Enrico Dalupan, I miss you too. <laughs> sabi niya, I miss you, Tutor Dad, sabi niya. And oh, yeah, then, yes, <laughs> oh, naminis ako ng ating mga tutees. Siyana Jean V. Ago. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. And then Trisha Lorraine M. Paguyo from San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School, Rojas East 
SDO Isabella. Ang dami nila ngayon, Tutor Jazz, ano? Okay, and of course, shout out sa ating uh, very accommodating, nag-accommodate from SDO Pasig City, from our to our SDS, Ma'am Maria Evalo Concepcion Agustin, Ma'am Kay, Chief Laguerta, Chief uh, Victor Havena, and to all CIDSGOD from SDO Pasig City, good afternoon po to all of you. Okay, yes, yes, and we also have this Kevin Martin Doluntop from Sorsogon City. Okay, good afternoon. And so welcome learners to our um Tuesday episode here in English 6. And since our time is just only limited to internet, let's now jump off to our discussion. So, Tuturnet, we are now really more than half of this quarter because we are now embracing week five. You imagine that. Time really plays so, so fast. Okay, learners, for today's topic, we're going to talk about on how to use a particular kind of sentence for a specific purpose and audience. But this time around, we are going to focus on expressing opinion. All right. So last meeting, we have had that um asking question okay this time around expressing opinion and also we cannot really have this um presentation this afternoon without the development team the self learning module that we are uh using this time and this is from sdo passing city as well thank you so much development team of the self of the slm from the writer down to the management team thank you so much for the hard work okay and to the net week three I mean, quarter three, week five. Ta -da. Yes, but um, to that, after this one, what do we expect our learners to, you know, to do? Okay, so after going through this session, you, you, our learners are expected to, of course, use a particular kind of sentence for a specific purpose and audience. And in particular is expressing opinions. Yes. yes, you know our topic to turn it is really um interesting as well. It talks about opinions, which uh I believe two weeks ago we've talked about that and three weeks, yeah, three weeks ago. Um you started that actually and after you, that's me. Okay, and <laughs> yes. then we're having a new topic now. Okay, but learners, we told you that we are always seeing your output. Okay, thank you so much for doing your part as we do our part as well. You know, when you're submitting your output, um uh how, how can i say what masaya kami okay masaya kami because that means you are cooperating as well all right because just like um what they've said it takes two to tango if we want that learning to happen you should cooperate as well all right so hi cassandria bravo jv gaddy okay um enrico de lupan eliza at jane andrea castillo who else we have adrian Re ray rivera angelic marie zalazar and jairo alessandro flores do we still have more Okay, and also Trisha Lorraine Paguyo and Kabatingan and Princess Gianna. Thank you so much for doing your work. All right, to net, you prepared something very special. What's this? Okay, first up is our pretest. Okay, let us have a, some um, some sort of natin. What do you know? What do you already know about the topic for today? Okay. So the part one, so for the pretest, we have two parts. Okay, so for the part one, the direction is you're going to read the following phrases and decide if they are first giving personal opinion. So that is for letter A. For letter B, that is asking for someone's opinion. And then for letter C, uh, that is agreeing. Or letter D, disagreeing. Okay, are you now ready, dear learners? Okay, let's start with number one. In my opinion, okay, so what is this statement? Is that giving personal opinion, asking for someone's opinion, that is letter B, or letter C agreeing, or letter D disagreeing? Let us see, dear learners, ano kaya dyan? Ang ating tamang sagot. Puro good afternoon pa rin from Jared Dela Teran, Lorraine Magtuloy. Okay, let us see, learners, what are your answers? Ayan, meron ng answer si Angelique Marie. 
Okay, letter A, Roxeline, also letter A, Lian Jean, Giro Alexander, Nicole Permano, Angelic Marie, Daisy Escobar, Aliana, Aiderol, Nicole Permano, Mark Platon. Okay, their answers are all letter A. Let us see our correct answer. Of course, very good. That is letter A, giving your personal opinion. Now, let's move on to number two. Don't you agree? Oh, what is that? Letter A, giving personal opinion. B, asking for someone's opinion. C, agreeing. Or letter D, disagreeing. What do you think is that? What kind of statement is that? Okay, let us see. Don't forget to type in first the number of the item followed by your answers. Okay, Paredo Angeli B, Daisy Escobar B, Angelic Marie B. Okay, si Shandy, nasa letter A pa rin. Okay, number one pa rin. Trisha Marie, B. Okay, Kevin Martin, B. Nicole Smith, B. Okay, let us see that correct answer. Yes, of course, learners. You are uh, correct with letter B. Asking for someone's opinion. Okay, next, item number three. Exactly. Oh, what kind of statement is that? Letter A, giving personal opinion. B, asking for someone's opinion. Letter C, agreeing. Or letter D, disagreeing. Exactly. What do you think is that? For number three. Okay, Chantal Elijah Damagan. Uh, answer is letter C, Angelique Marie. Letter C, Giro Alexander. Letter C, Cassandra Bravo. Letter C. Roxeline Idrol, letter C, Trisha Marie, letter C. Lahat sila, letter C. Tutor Jess, tignan natin. Okay, letter C. That is agreeing. Okay, next, number four. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, letter A, giving personal opinion. B, asking for someone's opinion. C, agreeing. Or letter D, disagreeing. Okay, what do you think is that? Dear learners, let us, let us see your answers. Okay. Kyle Joseph, letter B. Siantel Elijah B. Angelic Marie B. Gerald R. B. B. Jenry Apad. Oh, letter B silang lahat. Let us see our correct answer. Of course, letter B. Asking for someone's opinion. Okay, now, la last item. I don't agree with you. Oh, what is that? A, B, C, or D? Giving personal opinion, asking for someone's opinion, agreeing, or disagreeing. Oh, parang, parang giveaway na to, no? <laughs> okay, let us see your answers. Okay. Number five, Angelic Marie, letter D. Cassandra Bravo, letter D. Gerald RB, letter D. Uh, sino pang sasagot? Denise, uh, letter D then, Trisha Lorraine. Okay, let us see our correct answer. Of course, that is letter D, disagreeing. Okay, now let us see for the part two. Tutor Jess. Yeah, so thank you so much for that, Tutor Nan. And you know what? I'm just so happy um reading the comments of our learners because they really got a perfect score from your point <laughs> one at three. I yes. guess um I guess we have to end this we have to end this episode now. So they're very familiar with it now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, that's true. Um learners, um learners, can you do us a favor? Please, okay, please share this um this live session sa inyong mga Facebook wall as well. Para mas marami tayo, mas better. Okay? So please do it. Um anyways, nagpo-post nga kayo ng kung ano sa wall ninyo, no? Why not share this um this episode sa inyong mga wall as well, okay? So can you please do that every time that we're having our session? That's great. Anyways, moving on to our discussion. Um, for part two, pretest, okay, choose a phrase to insert into the following sentences. And here are the phrases that you're going to choose to. A, in my opinion, B, don't you agree? C, exactly. D, what do you think? Or E, I don't agree with you. Okay, and as you can see, these phrases have been used a while ago by Tutornet's exercise right let's move on to number one. Oh, tutor na tingnan mo nagpa five five sila my score is perfect so see kita mo yung mga comments na nakakatawa yes, yes. anyways oh um gusto ko five five din kayo after neto ah wag naman kay tutor nat lang ah dapat sa part two din five five din kayo after ha let's see i mean four four let's kasi four items lang to 
<laughs> okay, number one. But I think the blue shirt is nicer. Blank. What's this a blank for? Is it in my opinion? Do you agree exactly? What do you think? Well, I don't agree with you. What's your answer? Um, comment, comment down your answer, but you have to put the number first. Okay, Cassandra, bravo, Jenry, a patad. Oh, I'm doming. <laughs> Oh no! I'm going to walk out to the net. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. They're just so warming up. Nice. Warming up, palang yan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warming up, palang. Okay. So Liana Bravo, ato mga letter A. Pero may sumagot ng letter D. Daisy Escobar, letter D. Um, sino pa? Nicole Permano, letter D. Okay. And um, may li sumagot ng letter B. C. Sino ito ng letter B? Chantal and Mike to Malgon Mark Hatton. Paul Andre Celestino, to do that, bring it out. The answer is, yeah, we do have two answers in here. We can have, don't you agree or what do you think? That's it. Because we cannot say, but I think the blue shirt is nicer. Oh, um, I forgot to do that. What's the option for letter A? That is, okay. You'll never say, ah, but I think the blue shirt is nicer in my opinion. We cannot say that, right? Okay, that's that's really wrong. We should say, but I think the blue shirt is nicer. Don't you agree? Or, but I think the blue shirt is not, is nicer. What do you think? You know, you're asking. Okay, anyways, very good. Sama nakuha ng tamang sagot. Sama hindi, that's okay. But after the end of this one, you should get a perfect score or correct answer here. Number two to the net. Okay, blank, that's what I'm going to say. Blank, that's what I'm going to say. Learners, number two, what's the correct answer? A, in my opinion, do you agree exactly? What do you think? Or I don't agree with you. Kyle Joseph Salvador Tubaon. Oh, number one pa lang. Oh, how about for number two? Learners, please drop your answer for number two now. Wala pa ko nakita ng number two, two, three, yes. May nakita ka bang number two? Uh, not yet. Oh, okay, not yet. Or maybe delayed lang, no? Okay, yeah, Blank, yeah. that's what I'm going to say. Oh, there, Jared Talan, yeah. letter A, in my opinion. Okay, Jared Alexander Flores, okay, Trisha May, um, Elijah Jane at Miguinho, okay, A, in my opinion. Okay, the answer is exactly that's letter C. Pero may nakakuha ng tamang sagot, like Gerald R. Vidula Cantor, Aliana Bravo, um, Claudi Carlos, Jared Talan. Okay, Eliza Jane Atwiginio, Nicole Permano, that's letter C. Exactly. It's like, no, exactly. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, yun nga yun. <laughs> How about for number three, learners? Come on, we can do it. Okay, number three, blank every classroom needs a smart television. Blank every classroom needs a smart television. What's this blank in here? What is our answer? Kindly drop your comment or your answers now. A, B, C, D, E. What's your answer? Number three. We're now on number three. Okay, Angelic Marie Zalazar, sabi letter A. Joseph Conrad Bulaklak, A then. Jared Dalan, Chantal Elijah, Clarice Arboso, Wells, Nathaniel Hipolito, Cassandra Bravo, Liana Jean, Jairo Alexander Flores, Roxeline. Woo! <laughs> Dami. Okay, but that's really great because the answer to turn next for number three is, in my opinion, it's just like this. In my opinion, every classroom needs a smart television. Okay, that's amazing. Last one. I guess there's the last one. Okay, there you go. No, I'm sorry, but blank. What's this a blank for? No, I'm sorry, but blank. A, B, C, D, E. Drop your answers now. Number four. No? Okay, letter E. Si Angelique Marie Salazar, Chantal Elijah Dumagan. What's the answer to turn that? Again, the correct answer is letter E. Very good, Nathaniel Hipolito, Andrea Ray Rivera, because letter E is the correct answer. It's just like, no, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. That's right. Okay, who got perfect four? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, but it's so okay. I know that you really did your best, but okay. Later on, at the end of the session, okay, during the post-test, you have to, ha you need to have a perfect score, okay? Okay, let's have this recap before we proceed to our discussion today. Mm, what did we talk about last meeting, learners? 
do you still remember our topic last time? Okay, let's have this one. Um, last meeting, we did talk about on how to properly respond to questions. And here's the question. And here's my question for you. How do we really properly respond to questions? Anyone? Sige nga po, pakisagot daw ako ng very quick, just like one simple sentence can do or will do. How do we properly respond to questions? Comment down your answers. Come on. Comment down your answer in here. How do we properly respond to questions? Sige nga po. Paano tayo? Okay. How do we really, you know, um, answer the questions? Okay. So, delay lang yung comment later on. Maybe um, I can see the, your comments. Anyways, how do we properly respond to questions? Well, then we have to answer them in a complete sentence. That's a very crucial, especially your um, you are studying English, and when you're talking, you when you're speaking English, it's really important that we are always, you know, um, answering um, in a complete sentence. Why? The reason is uh, the reason is that it will be easier for your listener to understand what you're saying. Okay, so that you can communicate better. That's also correct. Okay, so sab tama yon sab. Roxeline Adirolf, okay, always in a complete sentence, very good, all right? So um, the next one, we also have, we also talked about this. Ta -da! Okay, types of questions. Okay, in order for us to answer the questions properly, we have to identify first what kind of questions are, are those. Okay, what kind of question is that? Whether it's a yes or no question or whether that's a WH question. Yes or no question that's answerable by yes or no. Very easy, right? And WH question, those questions um, started with what, where, why, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so pag yes or no, sinasagot lang siya ng yes or no. But this WH question is not necessarily, you know, yes or no. It requires information. It requires details or explanation, right? Okay, and then take note of this. We have learned that there are different types of sentences as well that we use for different purposes. The last meeting we did talk about the, I mean, sentences, asking, um, asking questions, right? Like a question sentence. You know, these different types of sentences in English allow us to express ourselves clearly. Okay, clearly. And then we also have to turn it. Okay, like for example, inter interrogative sentences ask questions just like what we had last meeting. Okay, and imperative sentences tell someone to do something. Okay, we do have different kinds of sentences which later on you're going to um, you're going to learn or maybe for, or maybe these kinds of sentences you already had this one in your previous um, grade levels. Okay, and today we are going to use declarative sentences to express opinions. Okay, learners, please, you know, understand what, uh, please remember what, opinion is okay and how you're going to uh how are you going to um to have that opinion okay lagi natin pinag-aaralan yun di ba so i hope that uh, it retains in your memory okay and later since that's it tutor net will you know will discuss to you our topic up until the post test okay please do better and that's all we'll take it away to the next thank you so much Tutor jazz and good luck to you your endeavor for today you know Okay, so let's move on to our topic for today. And that is about expressing our opinion. But before that, let us together read the given situation. Okay, so please let us uh, read with me the situation. Okay, the government has now declared alert level one in some places particularly in NCR. People have different feelings about this. Some people say that the government should still impose a stricter quarantine because people tend to be complacent, believing that the virus is already contained, though we know that the virus is still here, is still present. Others say that it's okay so that businesses will be open and our economy can move on. So, learners, this is my question for you. How do you feel about this? 
So how do you feel about this kind of statement? That the people are now being complacent, no? And then that there are more and more, a lot of people are going out. Diba? Halos karamihan, lumalabas na, diba? Okay, so how do you feel about this? Let me see. In our comment section, drop in. In our comment section, you're feeling about this. Come on, learners. Express your opinions by typing in your your opinion in simple words no yung kahit simply lang ano just to express your own opinion sige nga tignan natin yan si Jiro Alessandro is still watching like a cat sabi niya how about si Nicole Smith still watching and listening po thank you very much Nicole Smith okay ayan ito si Mark Platon in my stance the government should impose minimum health standard okay so that is according to mark platon how about aliana bravos says a little bit of worried nako medyo nag-aalala na si aliana bravo okay next how about joseph conrad bulaklak in my opinion i have my subscribers of my video okay okay let's skip that one okay how about the other learners sige nga roxeline i derote from sdo batangas hello good afternoon okay so ayan si jiro alexander flores i feel uncomfortable because even it it's alert level one it is still forbidden, okay, to go outside. In my opinion, okay, opinion lang yan ni Jiro. We can go outside until the virus, until it's done. Okay, so siguro, ang ibig sabi ni Jiro, we can go outside until the virus is done already. Okay, si Adrian Ray Rivera says, I feel happy and a bit worried. Okay, so medyo 50-50 pa ang kanyang, ang kanyang, uh, Feelings, ano? Okay. Now, let us discuss more about this. Okay, so most of you agree on the statement and some of you disagree, right? Okay, so when you express your own understanding, beliefs, feelings about something, you are expressing your own opinion. Okay, so I highlighted the word opinion, all right? Now, let us read another conversation. Yeah? Okay, so we have here the conversation of Anna, Andy, and Mark. Okay, now read along with me, children and learners. Okay, Anna, this virus really changed our lifestyle. What's your take on this? Okay, that is according to Anna. And the answers, I totally agree with you. It has affected all aspects of our lives. Our health, jobs, social lives were drastically changed. According to Mark, in my opinion, this virus has made families closer because they spend more time at home. Okay, and again. I think the government should do more in containing the virus. They should invest more in mass testing. Andy, I don't quite agree with you. The government has done well in curving the spread of the virus. Were it not for the early imposition of lockdown, we could have more people afflicted with the disease. All right, so that is the conversation of Anna, Andy, and Mark. Now, in that conversation of Anna and Andy, in the conversation of the two, we're giving their opinions about the coronavirus. Okay, that this is the one, no? yun nandito sa baba. Okay, now, what do we mean by the word opinion? Okay, so again, what do you think? What do we mean by the word opinion? Sige nga, learners, meron kayong makakasagot dito sa ating comment section on the meaning of the word opinion. 
Sige nga kasi hinighlight ko kanina, 'di ba, doon sa ating slides, the word opinion. Okay, so what do you think is the meaning of the word opinion? Sige nga, dear learners, let me see your answers from our comment section. Let us see. Aliana Bravo, still watching and listening po. Tutornet. Thank you so much, Aliana. And dito pa rin si Angelic Marie Salazar. Okay, from Marilao North District, Bulacan. Okay, Andre, uh, Adrian Ray Rivera. Okay, may sagot na si, uh, si Adrian. A view or judgment formed about something. Very nice. According to Roxeline, opinion is expressing your own point of view. That is correct. Next. Okay, and dito pa rin si Angela Jen Tarayo. Hello, Angela. Okay, how about this? Mark Platon, view or judgment formed about something not necessarily based on facts or knowledge. Okay, next, Kimberly Kim. Okay, Jiro says, opinion is expressing from your point of view to others. Okay. And then, Joseph, a view or judgment form about something. Okay, so thank you very much for your answers. Okay, so all of your answers are correct. Okay. Now, if we will be asked for our opinions, okay, since we already know what do we mean by the word opinions, here are some phrases that we can use to give our opinions. Okay, we can start our statement with the word or phrases, I think, I feel that, and in my opinion. Okay, so these are just some examples of some phrases that we can use for the start of our statement. Okay, but if you disagree, you can use these phrases. I don't quite agree. Okay, I don't think so. Okay, if you can still remember, from our pretest during the pretest part two, now we use tutor just use these phrases. Okay, I don't quite agree. I don't think think so. Okay, these phrases means to disagree with the opinion that being heard or uh, read. Next, we can also invite others to share their opinions. How are you going to do that? by using these phrases or sentences. What's your take on that? Okay, so question mark. Next, what are your thoughts? And also, what do you think? All right. So if you are going to, to ask for their opinion, you can use these uh, sentences to ask for their or to invite others to share their opinions. Now, let us read the following sentences. Okay. Letter A. In my opinion, this pandemic has made families closer because they spend more time at home. Okay. This statement was given, uh, was derived from the conversation a while ago. And letter B, the answer from that statement is, I don't agree with you that the government has not done well in curving the spread of the virus. Okay, that is another sentence, another statement. Okay, now, these sentences are what we call normal declarations. We use this to convey a message, thought, information, and many more others. They don't ask any question either. Do they express any strong emotions okay so these are just declarative no you are just uh, declaring your thoughts you are just saying you are just giving your message you are just conveying your message thought and information about a certain topic of course now these sentences are what we call now declarative sentences okay now these sentences and in a period. Okay, so remember that, children. Now, to reach out more of the activities, I'm going to give you three activities for this one. Okay, so for activity one, 
I think no, na, na medyo na ano niyo na no on how you're going to express your own opinion using declarative sentences. Okay. So the direction for the first activity is to complete the sentences below by choosing a phrase. Ito yung phrases natin. Letter A, in my opinion. Letter B, I think. Letter C, what do you think? And letter D, I don't agree with you. Okay, so you're going to complete the sentences. No? Just type in the letter of the correct phrases for each sentences. Okay, so let's start with number one. I think Secretary Briones is doing everything to make online learning possible. Blank, question mark. So what do you think is the correct phrase to complete this sentence? Okay, let us see your answers. Dear learners, nasaan na kayo? For activity one, num item number one. Okay, may sagot na si Aliana Bravo. Okay, her answer is letter A, si Angelique Aiden. Si Leila Camille, letter C ang answer. Si Jiro, letter C ang answer. Si Roxeline, letter C din. Trisha May, letter A. Daisy Escobar, letter A. Phil Sebastian, letter C. Trisha Lorraine, letter C. Okay, so this is a battle for letter A and letter C, no? Tignan natin. Let us see the correct answer. Okay, so that is letter C. Let us complete now the sentence. I think Secretary Briones is doing everything to make online learning possible. What do you think? Okay, so that is some tricky sentence, okay? Now, next, number two. Yes, but blank. Other people don't realize that. Okay, what do you think is the correct? Phrase to complete and to make the sentence correct. Yes, but blank. Other people don't realize that. Let me see your answers in our comment section. For item number two, Joseph Conrad, letter B, Angelique B, Aliana B, Roxeline, A or B, sabi niya. Il Sebastian B, Aliana B, Leila Camille, V. <laughs> Parang wala tayong letter V, Victory. Okay. Ah, that is letter B. Kinorek naman niya. Trisha Marie B. Okay. Okay, so all of you answers letter B. Let us see our correct answer. Oh, that is letter A. Letter A. Let us now complete the sentence. Yes, but in my opinion, other people don't realize that. Okay. Sige. Bawi tayo for item number three. Okay, blank. Every student must be given free internet connection. What do you think is the correct phrase to complete that sentence? Blank. Every student must be given free internet connection. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number three? Sabatingan, Princess, letter A, ah, letter B, Roxeline, letter A, Jiro, letter A, Eliza Jane, letter A then si Cassandra, yeah, oh, may nag-letter B. Tignan natin, ha? Aliana Bravo, letter A. Trisha Lorraine, <coughs> excuse me, letter A. Si Shandy Evora, letter A. Nicole Smith, A. Mariel Joyce Boletin, letter A. Let us see now our correct. Okay, siguro medyo, medyo nako-confuse kayo on how the statement or the sentences is being processed, ano? Okay, for let number three, blank, every student must be given free internet connection. Imagine this one, okay. Tignan natin. Kung halimbawa gagamitin niyo yung letter A, in my opinion, every student must be given free internet connection. Somewhat it is right. Okay. For letter B, I think every student must be given free internet connection. Okay. So you battle from A and B, you know, because it might also correct that you will you will use the praise for letter A in my opinion and letter B, I think. You know? But it is 
incorrect if you use letter C or D. Okay, so you will be given uh, another point for this. So, pwedeng letter A, in my opinion, every student must be given free internet connection. That is also true. And letter B, I think every student must be given free internet connection. So, both of them are correct. Okay, so that's it. Number four, no. I'm sorry, but blank. Oh, what do you think is that? What do you think is the correct answer for number four? Okay, drop in your answer for item, statement, sentence number four. No, I'm sorry, but <clears throat> blank. Okay, what is that? Roxeline, letter D. Sino yung nauna? Si Aliana Bravo, letter D. Yes. Okay, Jiro, Cassandra, Roxeline, Lian, Angelique. Okay, so all of you, ano? Adrian, Trisha, Leila, Lea. Aldred, Ibai, okay. So all of all of you answers letter D. Okay, but you, let us see our correct answer. Okay, you got it right, dear, dear learners. Letter D. No, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. Okay, that's correct. Now, let's move on to another activity, which is you're going to arrange the words to form declarative sentences okay remember that you're going to use capital letters okay when necessary okay now mabilisan lang to okay eto ha jumbled words you're going to arrange the words to form a declarative sentence number one face mask bought my parents our family for <laughs> okay so this is a jumble words not thought at all okay let us see medyo mahaba habang ano pagta-type ito wow and daming oh si Jiro naka perfect score sa ating activity one si Kebby naka three out of four okay sige let us see your answer for number one in our activity Activity or done, Reb. Sumobra ka. Four item lang tayo sa activity one. Okay, so zero. Yan. Okay, tignan natin. Face mask, bought my parents, our family, four. Okay. How are you going to arrange these words to form a meaningful and declarative sentence? Okay. Ayan. My parents bought face mask. For our family, sabi ni Aliana, ni Cassandra, tsaka ni Jiro, tsaka ni Joseph. Okay, let us see. The correct answer is, of course, my parents bought face mask for our family. Okay, next, number two. Causes outbreak this worry people to marry. Okay, so you're going to arrange again this uh, jumbled, uh, this arrange. Uh, words, no? Sige, tingnan natin from our comment section. Sige, type in, type in. Meron ta, may nakita ko, Mika. Okay, para ngayon ko lang nakita to si Mika. Si Daisy Escobar, uh, may answer na siya. Okay, si Siantal, Elijah. Okay. Ah, okay, for number one pa rin ang answer. Sige, let us see. For number two, causes outbreak, this worry, people, too many. Ah, uh, what is that? What is the sentence, the correct sentence behind that? Okay, let us see because we don't have any more uh, time, no? Okay, let us see. The correct answer is this outbreak causes many people to worry. Okay, and that is in declarative sentence form. Okay, next for number three. Starting to go outside, people are. Okay. Sige, I will reveal na the answer. Okay. People are starting to go outside. Diba? Totoo naman. These are declarative sentences. Okay. Now, to wrap up all the things that we have learned for this afternoon. Okay. Our activity is to complete the paragraph by filling the blanks. You're going to choose your answer from the box. Okay. And ito yon. Ito yung choices natin. Express, period, capital letter, and opinion. Okay. So, for 
this one. Okay, so let us complete now the paragraphs. When you blank, that is number one, your own understanding, beliefs, feelings about something, you are expressing your blank. So that is number one and number two. Sige nga, tignan natin yung answer nyo. Let us see, learners. Andiyan pa ba kayo? Na, mukhang nasa ano pa sila? Nasa activity to pa ang ating mga learners. Okay, ayan. Si Roxeline sabi niya express yung number one. Okay, that is, tignan natin. Yes, okay. When you express your own understanding, beliefs, feelings about something, you are expressing your blank. Oh, that is number two. What do you think is that? Your blank. What is that? The answer is opinion. Okay, next paragraph. Declarative sentence are simply statements that relay information. It states the facts or an opinion. It always starts with a blank and ends with a blank. Oh, this is very simple, learners. You number three and four natin. Ayan, may mga sagot na sila. Si Leila Camille, si Kabatingan Princess, si Angelic Marie Salazar. Okay, capital letter. Okay, ayan. So, let us see our correct answer. For number three is capital letter. And ends with a period. Okay, so that's it now for our topic for today in expressing opinion and using declarative sentences. But of course, before we end, we're going to have a post-test. Konti lang. Sige, choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, I think you are beautiful with it. The underlined expression is an expression of blank. What is that? A, asking opinion. B, giving opinion. C, giving invitation. Sige nga, tignan natin. Tignan natin ang inyong answer for number one, question number one. Okay, may nagsagot na si Angelic, letter B, Aliana Bravo B, Sian Antonio B, Cassandria Leila B. Tignan natin. Ang answer natin is yes. B, giving opinion. Okay, next. Number two. I have a problem with my mobile phone. What is the best answer? A, it sounds great. B, I think you should buy a new one. Or letter C, how pity you are. <laughs> okay, the statement is, I have a problem with my mobile phone. Okay, okay, so when your friend asks you, I have a problem with my mobile phone. So what could be your best answer? Okay, it sounds great. I think you should buy a new one. Or how pity you are. Okay, let us see your answer. Uh, karamihan ang sagot ay B. Okay, tignan natin what are the correct answer. Okay, letter B. I think you should buy a new one. Okay, number three. Lynn, according to Lynn, what do you think about the film? So Lynn is asking Tess. Tess answered, I think, blank. A, I like it. B, thank you. C, let's go. Okay, what do you think is the best answer from the question? Sige nga, tignan natin. I like it. Thank you. Or let's go. Okay, your answers, Angelique Marie, sabi niya A. Okay, so most of you answers letter A. Let us see. Of course, that is letter A. I like it. Good job, learners. Number four, which of the following is the best example of a declarative sentence? A, where did you get those books? B, oh, it's raining hard. Letter C, I bought the dress yesterday. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Ayan, letter A daw, sabi ni Clarice Arboso. Si Leila C, si Abin Chin C. Okay, let us see our correct answer. Okay, so that is letter C. I bought the dress yesterday. Good job, learners. Okay, number five. What punctuation mark is used at the end of a declarative sentence? A period, B question, C exclamation point. Oh, this is a giveaway question, huh? Okay, let us see your answer for number five. Wala pa akong masyadong nakikita. Angelic Marie, ayan, number five, A, sabi niya. 
Okay, si Clarice Arboso, A, Aliana, A, Lian Jean, Agoot, A, Dan Rebitang, okay, Lay Aldred, E by A. Okay, tignan natin. Alright, so that is letter A, period. Okay, so for our additional activity, they're going to tell whether you agree or disagree with the following statements and share your opinions regarding the responses you had chosen. Okay, so take a snapshot of this activity so you can answer it and post it in our Facebook page, English 6, uh, with Tutor Jazz and Tutor Net. Okay. Okay, and we have the following references from the modules that we have used this afternoon. And of course, let's scan this QR uh, to give us your feedback. And that's it for, today, for this afternoon. Again, I am your tutor net from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School, SDO Pasig City. With me is Tutor Jazz also from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School. So it is another fun and exciting afternoon th this afternoon. Thank you so much. And up next is Tutor Jace and Tutor Arnel for English 7. And with that, I would like to bid goodbye. See you next Tuesday. Bye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!